in the previous video i have implemented the functionality of add vote to the question so today in this video we will see how can we get the vote counts from the database so let's get started so let me add here property that is private integer vote count and it will be a zero i mean i am initializing here vote count with zero so it is a question entity you can see here so let me add this property in our question dto so let me open here the question dto and add here vote count and we also need to add here that is question dto dot set vote count and we will get from here so let's go to our api that we created in the previous video let me show you here you can see add vote to the question click on here on this method that is add vote to the question and let me open here in vote service.impl and here we need to create here the object that is question is equals to optional question dot let me rename it existing question in the statement we need to check question vote dot that vote type is equal is equals to vote type dot upward then we need to set existing question dot set vote count and here we need to get existing question dot get vote count plus one in case if vote type dot downward then here we need to set let me copy this statement and add here that is existing question dot set vote count and it will be a existing question dot get vote count minus one and after that we need to call here the questions repository let me and here's the method that is save and here we need to pass existing question object to save the updated record let's run the application and show the vote counts into our ui the application is started on port 8080 so let's go to ui and let me open here the inspect you can see the vote count value that is zero so let's give the upvote to this question here upvote and here you can see we got a message that is vote added successfully so let refresh the questions table and here you can see the vote count change from zero to one okay and here's the entity that is question vote so let me refresh the component and let's see we got a vote count value from our backend or not so let me open here the question dto and here you can see the vote count has a value one okay so let's print this value and let me add here the div question dot vote count let's refresh the component and here you can see vote count is printed in our question session successfully so let me add here the class and class name is vote python count and let me open here the scss file and here you can see the property of the vote count that is font size 24 pixel and the margin right 10 pixel okay now you can see so let's log in another user login let me open this and let's add here the upvote from this logged in user so it will be a vote added successfully so let me refresh the component and here you can see the vote counts and let me refresh the table of the question and here you can see the vote count and here the question vote entity so the first one vote from the user id one and a second vote that we got from user id two we need to add some style to the arrows like if a logged in user added a vote to the question then we need to show that is already voted to perform this action we need to add the reverse relation let me open here the question class you can see here the question entity let's create here the reverse relation of the question vote so it will be a private list question vote let's annotate it with at the rate one to many and here we need to map with question okay and the cascade it will be a cascade type dot all and the second annotation we need to add here json you know let me create here the object of the question it will be a existing question 
let's go here option question dot get you have noticed that we are not getting any type of user id from the api you can see here the question controller and here is the method that we are working on it get question by id so we need to get the user id from the url so let me put here user id okay and let's add the annotation at the red path variable down user id and we also need to pass here user id let me add here the comma separate these so let me copy and we also need to receive here long user id and we also need to add here long user id because we need the user id to get that this logged in user added a vote or not so that's why we are getting the user id from the api so here we need to get an optional vote so it will be our question vote optional question vote is equals to existing question dot get question vote list dot stream dot filter and here i'm going to create a variable that is vote and here we need to check that is vote dot get user dot get id dot equals and here we need to pass user id dot find first so this statement will give us a optional vote here i'm going to create an object of a question dto is equals to optional question dot get dot get question dto okay in case if optional question what is not present then we need to set here question dto dot set what it is equals to zero okay you can see here the property in the question dto that is private int what it in case if optional question what is present then we need to check in the if statement that is optional word dot get dot get word type dot equals word type dot upward then we need to set question pto dot set what it one in case let me add here the else in case if word type dot downward then we need to set question dto dot set what it minus one okay and here in the set question dto we need to give the question dto object instead of this one so let's run the spring boot application and let's check it out in our front end that we are getting the voted value or not now you can see application is started on port 8080 you can see here we are getting the user id from the url so we need to pass the user id from the front end so let's go to this api from question service dot ts you can see here the method that is get question by id so after this we need to pass here storage service dot get user id so let's save this we need to add here the property that is and this style so let me copy from here and add over here and here we need to check that is question dot 40 is equal is equals to one then we need to show the green otherwise if question dot what it is equal is equal to minus one then we need to show so let's copy this statement and add we need to pass here minus one so let's go to our ui and here you can see the up arrow is green right now what will happen when logged in user port again on the up arrow you can see here let me click again on the up arrow and here you can see that vote added successfully let me refresh the component and here you can see the vote count increased from one to two okay so let's fix this issue like uh, if a logged in user already uh, voted to the question then you cannot again question okay in this method so we need to pass here the question voted value question dot voted okay and let me copy this and add into a port section so we need to receive here so it will be a vote it and the data type is a number so let me add here if statement and in the statement we need to check that is 
what it is equal is equal to one or what it is equal is equal to minus one then we need to show a notification service that is this dot snack bar dot open and the string that is you are already voted with this question and the button that is close now you can see there is fix okay let me add here the duration of this service is duration 5000 milliseconds and the second thing we need to add here panel class error hyphen snack bar and we need to add here as block so let's copy all of these code and add into the else block so let's go to our ui and let me click again on the upvote and you can see that is you are already voted to this question so let me log in another user and click on this question and you can see it is already uploaded let me click again on upload and you can see you are already voted to, the, to this question so in the f if statement we need to add here a method that is this dot get question by id method like when what added successfully we need to call this method to get the updated record from our backend so that's why i have added here the statement that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video and uh, also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye